Alright folks, and welcome to Spy Training 101. The basics. <laughs> well, the moment has passed. Back to work. Alright, now let's go through the basic spy arsenal. You have your revolver, your sapper, and your knife. I will talk about these and what they do. Your knife is your melee weapon that you can use at close range to do about 40 damage per attack on an enemy. However, if you get behind the enemy, you can backstab them and instantly kill them. It will do uh, six times the damage of the player's current health that you backstab. Your second item is your sapper and it's used to destroy sentries and other engineer buildings and then you have your revolver which is used for long range if you're shooting or close range mid range you can do a um, good bit of damage with it then you have your watch your invis watch which makes you invisible for a certain amount of time there are different variations on these watches and we'll cover that in the advanced tutorial Finally, you have your disguise kit. Now, what should you disguise as? I would recommend the Demo Man, because your speed is not slowed, or possibly the Pyro. However, if, you, if your enemy team has lots of Pyros, you don't want to use this disguise because it is easier for them to catch on. Um, and one thing people would say, don't disguise as Scout, because you travel slower. It gives you a slight speed boost, but you don't travel near as fast as the Scout. However, I would recommend that you disguise as Scout in certain situations. One being immediately after you leave spawn, so you can get a slight uh, boost in your distance that you travel. Uh, I would also advise that once you get near the center point, you go invisible so the enemy team does not see you also one thing that happens is if you're on especially two fort you see over there there's an enemy sniper All right, if you disguise as a scout your your hitbox for the head appears to be lower so if a sniper aims for that scout head they'll actually they will not hit the spy head Alright, so the first order of business is the enemies that you will be fighting against. And uh, each one has their own uh, unique defense against the spy that we're going to be covering today. And those would be the pyro, the sniper, the engineer, the demo, which we're using as a uh, just a standard class so we don't have to go through all of them. Um, and of course fighting against another spy alright so first one we're gonna do is fighting against a pyro uh, so this is pretty much why I'm using a basic the basic loadout just reskins uh, pyros will light you on fire and when you are invisible uh, enemies can still see you because flames around you okay now if you play TF2 for just a little bit you should probably already know that but if you're inexperienced, uh, well, now you know. Uh, one way, you just gotta stay away from pyros. Alright, avoid pyros mostly at all cost. Alright. And if you happen to, uh, to get lit on fire by one, uh, let's see, I'm disguised as a demo now, as a friendly demo for this. Pyro, but let's say he sees me sap at engineer's building and he lights me on fire like this. Alright. Dodge into the water, right? Of course. But as you'll see, you leave behind trails of bubbles sometimes when you jump into the water. So you want to be cautious. You want to you wanna be wary of that, okay? So, you know, sometimes when you're in the water, they can still trace you around. Alright. In this map, two forts. There's health along these things here, and if he happens to be following you, 
and you're shooting him with your uh, pistol or your revolver as you go along then this is a good place to pick up some ammo and reload if there's no water to escape into then you can run away and possibly do some trick stabs or whatnot but since this is a basic tutorial I will not cover trick stabs that will be in the advanced tutorial which will come later and there will be a link to in the description now there are a few weapons you can use to defend yourself from pyros a good combination would be the spicicle and the dead ringer however after the recent nerf of those two items I would not advise it I would just advise you to avoid pyros at all costs okay now we're going to see a situation where you encounter an enemy engineer so your most effective weapon against the engineer is going to be the sapper so how to use the sapper you walk up to uh, engineer's building you'll see a white outline and you left click and apply the sapper after a few moments it will it will be destroyed um, you can also use your pistol and with the recent update if you use your pistol it actually does increase damage so that's good good if the engineer is not around or there's not a sentry around to use your pistol now if you see this engineer he's using the southern hospitality which is even worse than the wrench for the spy it is one of your weaknesses it causes a bleed effect which when you're invisible you will leave trails of blood and they can tail you for a few seconds so you definitely do not want to get around this weapon another weapon this engineer has that's one of your weaknesses is the Pompson and it can drain your cloak watch my cloak meter it drains a lot faster so when you're running away you want to dodge the Pompson projectiles now in a moment an enemy demo man is gonna walk it up his spawn and he's going to turn down the stairwell and present his back to me. As a spy, I can use the knife to backstab him like so. Okay. Now, you want to disguise so they do not see you as an enemy. Alright. And that will give you a little bit more room to work so you can get close to them without causing suspicion. Now, you don't want to walk towards them and, you know, walk around them like this. You know, but you can press B and sometimes change your weapon uh, as a, you know, as your disguise. But, I mean, you, you kind of want to act normal. Depending on your disguise, you want to act as if you were that class. So, you know, a, you know, just behave like you would as that class. All right? Because you don't want to cause suspicion, especially around engineers and pyros. Alright, now we're going to talk about snipers. How to attack them and how to defend against them. As you see there, that's a very deadly weapon against spies. That causes the same bleed effect that you'll see from the southern hospitality of an engineer. Alright, now, uh, sometimes you might want to fight back if they're on to you. If you can't escape, you want to cloak and do that. Because cloak drains your, uh, it, it relieves yourself from the bleed effect much faster than if you weren't cloaked. Alright, now we're going to see the sniper in his position, zoomed in, unaware of the attacking spy. Now you'll see he's defending against the spy with a razor back. What does a razor back do? I'll show you. See, you are you're disabled whenever you stab the razor back for a few seconds. All right. So it also causes a loud sound, which uh, will alert the enemy sniper of your presence. So whatever you do, don't backstab. A, uh, a razorback unless you're working with another 
spy. Alright, to stab and stab real fast. Uh, in most situations, you will have a regular revolver. But if you're good at getting headshots, which I would assume you're not, if you're just watching the basic tutorial, then uh, you, would, you would usually never have the ambassador. But when you're dealing with snipers who will have the Razorback, go get your Razorback on, lad. Uh, you you can't really use the knife effectively if you want to get a quick kill before they kill you. Uh, you don't want to give them the opportunity to kill you. So he zoomed in here. The sniper is going to be zoomed in over here. All right, and he's not going to see you approach him. And you get to his his side. And aim directly at the head, point blank range. It will not be that hard to get a headshot. And you get critical hit. He'll still be alive. He'll he'll live through that. But any attack will finish him off, whether it be the knife or even a body shot from the ambassador. So that's how you want to attack enemy snipers. Would you say, what about defending against enemy snipers, if the enemy sniper is on the offensive? We're going to talk about that right now, and what you should avoid doing and what you should do. Uh, as you see, he has the Sydney Sleeper, which causes a Jurati effect. Now, if he'll go get his Jurati real fast. Uh, Jurati is a, uh, it's, con it's called Liquid Based Karate, is the description of it. And it's basically piss in a jar. And when it's thrown onto you, you get this discombobulating effect with a yellow uh, shade. Same with the bleed effect. If you go over and cloak, it will drain off quicker. But the thing about Jurati is it causes you to take many crits from all damage sources. So you want to avoid that. Alright. Don't get Jurati. Avoid the throw of the Jurati. Don't do it. All right. Tribalman Shiv. He has Tribalman Shiv, which, like I said earlier, causes bleed effect. You do not want to get around this guy. All right. Normally, what I would advise doing if he's hunting you down is headshot while you're walking away, or shoot with your revolver as you're walking away. There's not really much room you can do if you're trying to melee this guy and he has a Shiv, unless you trick stab. But we're gonna cover that in another video. Final enemy that we're going to cover is enemy spies. So it's going to be motto e motto, spy versus spy, right? Uh, so he has the same arsenal as you. So as far as skill level, aside from skill level, you are equally matched. Alright? Unless he has a pistol, a standard revolver, and you just have the ambassador. In which case, if you can land headshots, you have the advantage. However, if it's a knife battle, a melee battle, which these typically tend to be, if you are very close to each other, you do not want to present your back to him whatsoever. So if he'll stand out here, I will show you a basic uh, um, concept with back uh, with backstabbing and trick stabbing. You can have almost uh, let's see, you have a, a quite a big range for stabbing. Alright, you don't have to be directly on the back. You have quite a bit of range all around. See, I can side stab right here. I'm not his his back is not even facing me. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with these guys, because they can pick you off even if it seems like you're straight in front of them. They can still pick you off and get a back stab. So uh, if you're working against someone who's more advanced than you, just avoid them, because they're possibly going to trick stab you. Right? Or you could you counter trick stab them, you know, if you're advanced enough. But I would recommend, you know, if if they've spotted you, then I would recommend shooting them. If if they haven't and you've seen them first, then you can possibly go for a backstab. However, you know, I would recommend shooting them. Or stabbing, if you're up for that. Alright, folks. Thank you all for watching the Basic Spy 101 tutorial. We'll see you all in the next time. Remember to 
like, share, subscribe, and especially comment if you have any questions or any feedback. We love to hear it for the next tutorial, which will be the, the advanced. Heck, we might even do an intermediate for you guys. Advanced will mostly cover tricks tabs, stuff along that lines that your standard spy will not be doing unless you have a lot of experience. So thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Mm -hmm.